I'm Pete. And I'm Tim. Welcome to another epic journey. We drove through Memphis, Tennessee on the way to Texas and stopped at Tim's really good friend, Larry. Yeah, Lieutenant Colonel, retired Lieutenant Colonel Larry and his wife, Casey, have a wonderful Airbnb. They were gracious enough to let us stay there. Uh, it's called a cool 1960s pad. Yeah, take a look. It's really great. 10 minutes from downtown. Larry took us on tour of Beale Street, which is the heart of downtown Memphis. That's where the birth of the blues, and we had a taste of ribs, we had a taste of the street scene there. Oh yeah, good entertainment, Yeah, excellent food. And then as an added bonus after dinner, he took us to Ernestine and Hazel's. Ernestine and Hazel's was the old joint where the Rolling Stones were influenced to write the song Honky Tonk Woman. And I think we met a few of those honky tonk women. I'm pretty sure we met a couple of them. Yes, you we did. Um, <laughs> That's all we did was meet them. <laughs> yes. But anyway, come along and enjoy this next epic journey. Okay, we will. Let's do it. All right.
going to Ernestine and Hazel's, and I, I guess it was a hotel at one time or a brothel. And uh, whatever the stones were here, the Rolling Stones, they were visiting that, and that's where they got inspired to write Honky Tonk Woman. No and way. they had a, I mean, because the, the, the stones were influenced almost 100% by Mississippi blues and, and the blues. They'll tell you that in their music. And what's the name of this place? Ernestine and Hazel's. Ernestine and Hazel's. Hazel's, yeah. All right, well, let's check it out. Hello. Okay, I'm right now. All right. So we're in Ernestine and Hazel's right now. And when the Rolling Stones came to Memphis, they came here and they were influenced by some of the things they did here because I think it was a brothel. And they wrote Honky Tonk Woman from their experiences here, where the girl, uh, they met a barroom queen in Memphis and took her up to the state. She took them upstairs for a ride. We're in that upstairs right now. They got taken for a ride. This is where the girls, great guys are here. Taken for a ride. And uh, that's where the stones. I don't know who was that. I guess Big Jagger. He sings that. Yeah, they got the. Yeah, uh, well, who was their biggest blue? writer? Was it his mom and Mick or Keith? I don't know which one did all the writing. They, I'm they sure they all ate like together in the same room. Yeah, I'm sure they were all uh, at the same. See who signs, I say. Yeah. 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 That was horrible, but it's true. Well, it may be. <laughs> Walk down this way. Good night, everybody.